Yo, like this video for a million dollars? I'm not even joking, bro. If you like this video, your bank account will go whoosh. Yo, what's going on? So, I'm sure you've seen by now what happened over on Twitter a couple days ago, where this person had posted that they were at their little cousin's birthday party, and that little cousin had a birthday cake that was themed after Minecraft YouTuber Dream. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably think that I'm gonna say, oh yeah, that's kind of cringy, bro. Having that kind of birthday cake is cringy. You know, you're standing Dream, but I'm actually not gonna say that because listen this is a little kid it's actually funny one of the people in my discord server dm'd me this picture asking me my thoughts on this and i guess they assumed that i was gonna say that it was cringe or something like that but i don't really care i mean a lot of people get the wrong idea from me people assume that because i've criticized the behavior of dream stands in the past that i i have no heart for some reason and that i can't see why people would like dream and that's absolutely not true i mean some of my own personal relatives watch stream i know people who have watched stream i have friends who watch stream and especially when we look at kids from the ages of, I don't know, 5 to 13, it's more than reasonable that they would like Dream, and it's very understandable why they would, you know, gravitate towards Dream's content and like it. So this person tweeted this picture, they said, I'm at my cousin's birthday, and this happened, and it says, Happy 11th birthday, Bentley, and 11, and then Dream with the little Dream picture right there. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't understand where the problem occurs, I'm about to tell you, basically, what happened is the replies to this tweet were, they were pretty great gross and vile in my opinion. You had people saying to poison the cake, pretty much act like you're not hungry after you poison the cake so that everybody else who eats the cake uh, dies. People were saying to beat up the cousin because they enjoyed Dream. Pretty much every single sort of reply that was negative that you can imagine was said. Now here's the thing, I, I get it guys, I get the trolling, trust me, I do a little trolling myself, but when you're responding to the cousin of this little kid whose birthday it is, saying that uh, they should kill the their cousin and poison him, it's just inappropriate, dude. It's just, like, totally uncalled for. Like, this kid's just doing his own thing, and then you're over here like, hey, man, uh, kill yourself. Yeah, kill yourself. You 11-year-old, you like this YouTuber, kill yourself. Like, what? Now, the fundamental reason behind people calling this birthday cake cringe obviously isn't the kid himself. It's because it's Dream that they dislike it, right? Because Dream, you know, obviously he's done some questionable things. He did cheat in his speedruns, and, you know, in terms of his character, it's kind of an iffy topic, right? But try to look at this situation from the perspective of the kid whose birthday it is, right? I mean, if you think about it, YouTubers are kind of the new TV shows, right? I say that because I had a Thomas the Tank Engine themed birthday party when I was like five years old, right? And obviously that was because Thomas the Tank Engine was entertaining to me. It was a TV show. And I feel like if you're a kid watching YouTubers nowadays, it's like the same thing as a TV show, right? Some kids even watch YouTube more than actual cartoons and TV. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. And considering the fact that Dream's avatar is, you know, super easy to make and, you know, easy to draw and, you know, I can easily see it being put on cake. It doesn't surprise me and I don't find it that cringe that the kid has birthday themed like that. Obviously, an 11-year-old kid doesn't know his antics on Twitter. Like, I feel like that's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you and I watching this video, we obviously get to see more of what he's like off of YouTube and, you know, on Twitter and other social media outlets. But if you're an 11-year-old kid who's just binging the Minecraft manhunts, there's no reason why you would dislike Dream. Obviously, if you're into Minecraft, you would love him. Now, if you're at the point where you are 13, 14, 15 years old and, and doing this as your birthday party theme, it's kind of a little bit odd. You know, at that point, personally, I would find that cringe, but but I think there's a distinction between finding something cringe and then bullying somebody. You know, obviously if there's a kid in your school wearing an Among Us backpack, an Among Us shirt, Among Us pants, Among Us sneakers, and everything else Among Us, right? You're definitely allowed to think that that's cringe and bizarre. Because it is. It's both of those things. It's weird. And you can chuckle to yourself about those things at the expense of nobody, right? Like, nobody's feelings get hurt. Nobody gets physically hurt. It's just, it's all in good fun. But to then go up to that kid after seeing his Among Us drip and then saying, hey, Hey man, I, I really hope you get shut up. I hope that somebody kills you. I mean, like that, that, that's, that's nuts, bro. Going up to a kid that has an Among Us shirt and then just repeatedly telling him to kill himself, I don't really understand the joke there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that is just straight up harassment. You are harassing somebody for no reason. Now, where I've seen people start to argue about this whole thing is that, you know, some of the replies, while they may have been obviously rude, some of them, you can be argued that they're a dark humor, you know? One of the replies, like I said earlier, was, oh, poison the cake and then say you're not 
hungry, right? Obviously, nobody's poisoning the cake. Obviously, the suggestion to poison the cake was probably a joke and not serious. I don't think anybody who was saying something like that or, like, wishing violence up upon this kid was actually, in, in their heart of hearts, wishing violence upon this kid and wanted to see him suffer. Like, I don't think anyone actually at their core wanted that and was just, you know, I think they were just trolling, like I said. Now, whether or not somebody is joking or not being serious about something doesn't negate the fact that what they said was completely out of pocket and uh, just rude and disrespectful. And the reason why I think that these replies are even more rude and disrespectful is because this wasn't just a random screenshot of a dream birthday cake. This was a, a person whose cousin was having a dream-themed birthday party, and now we have a bunch of people telling this person's relative, their family member, to kill themselves. An 11-year-old kid. I don't even care about the dark humor at a certain point. At a certain point, it's just harassment. Like, there's no joke or no punchline when you say, oh yeah, uh, kill your cousin. There's no, there's no joke there. If you wanted to make a dark humor joke about this certain situation, you could easily say something like, well, yeah, now this is the reason why uh, North Korea wants to nuke us. We are having our birthday parties themed after Minecraft YouTubers. Like, that, that obviously doesn't come at the expense of anybody, I don't think. I mean, maybe it does. <laughs> I don't think so. All I'm gonna say is that it's definitely not as, uh, just straight-up harassment as telling this kid to kill himself or, uh, to poison the cake or something like that. Because here's the thing, right? The person who tweeted this, uh, you know, this co the cousin of this person, they obviously thought that it was cringe themselves, because otherwise they wouldn't have tweeted it, you know? They were like, what is this, Lamau? And that's harmless, you know? Because like I said earlier, there's a difference between cringing at something and bullying someone. And listen, I'm not saying that this would be okay, but I think that the fact that this is an 11-year-old kid it just makes it all the more worse. I'm not saying it would be okay if it was a 15-year-old or something like that, but when you're 15 years old and you make a decision like this, I feel like you become at least more aware, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, at 15 years old, you're on TikTok, you're on YouTube, you're on Twitter, you know what's happening, you know what the drama is, you know why it's cringe, and you're not gonna do it. But in this case, we're not talking about one of those 15-year-old kids. I mean, we're talking about a kid who hasn't had the talk yet. I mean, like, are we, are we serious right now? And to all the people saying that it's dark humor and that, you know, these are just jokes, I get it, but also, bro, you'd think that if you were good at telling jokes, and that if you were a good comedian, you could go after somebody who wasn't 11 years old. Like, you know what I'm saying, dude? This is an 11-year-old kid, bro. It's kind of low-hanging fruit, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> what? Like, I I'm sorry, bro. You gotta get some new material. I mean, I don't know, man. I just don't think 11-year-old kids enjoying stuff is cringe. When I was 11 years old, I had an imaginary friend named Hubert, so, I I again, like, yeah, maybe looking in hindsight, Hubert was a little bit of a, of a very bizarre thing that I enjoyed for a decent amount of my life, but, like, dude, I was 11, okay? Like, seriously? This kid's 11 years old. Like, let, let's chill. Anyways, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think of the situation. Do you think that it's just dark humor? Do you think that they crossed the line? I'm actually curious because I could definitely see both sides in this situation. I think most of it was just Redditors, uh, who were upset that Dream cheated, taking out their anger on a kid, but that's just me. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down Kirby if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll try to heart your comment. Follow me over my social medias and join the Discord server. Links are all in the description below. Big thanks to my channel members, as always. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys later.